What is going on guys? I'm a little bit late on this video, but I still wanted to get it out. Last week we got a look at a new cosmetic bundle, which has a very holiday feel to it for Ashes of Creation. And we also got a behind the scenes look at this weird looking mount, the Day Strider. Starting with the cosmetics, December's cosmetics Rhyme and Regal are available now. And in them we have some winter themed items. The first being the Snowfall Sabatons, which are a boot cosmetic skin. And then we have the Peak Hound Pup, which is this cute little dog with two different eye colors. From there is my favorite mount Intrepid has done so far, and I'm almost tempted to buy this bundle just so I can ride around on a reindeer. But the Elder Crown Caribou is its actual name, and this is a mount skin. Have you ever dreamed of being Jon Snow? Well, now you can. Join the Night's Watch with the Sentinel Greatcoat, which is another cosmetic skin. Which also isn't actually a Game of Thrones item, so don't get your hopes up for some crazy looking crossover here. You then have a wolf drawn carriage with the Crimson Carriage skin. This is a caravan cosmetic. And again, this skin really makes me want to buy this set. It might be time soon for me to cave in on these. But last but not least, we have the Home Earth Cabin, which is a freehold skin. This cabin looks all dressed up for the holidays. As always, these cosmetics come in a variety of bundles you can get your hands on. Moving on to the latest mount Intrepid has revealed, the Day Strider. Have you ever wanted to know what it would look like if an anteater and a giraffe had sex? Well, now you do. This guy is very interesting looking, as you can tell, and the Day Strider are mounts that are capable of traversing all terrain and love to eat bugs. They are said to be stronger than a horse by being able to carry much more weight and are surprisingly fast. What are your thoughts on the cosmetics and the Day Strider? Let me know in the comments and as always stay tuned for a lot more news to come.